and welcome back to my channel as you can already tell today we will be doing a shark jinnie inspired makeup look but i'm obviously not going to look like shark jinnie shark jinnie our girl is gonna get a glam or should i say a what is that term oh my god glow up glow up shark jinnie is getting a glow up that too with the modest version. I know that my girl likes to walk outside without her blouse, but I can't do that. We are wearing our blouse, we're wearing our sari properly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna wear a sari. I'm just gonna throw in a dupatta and make it look like it's a sari, but yeah, this is basically modest Shak Junni getting a glow up. They that's right. Oh, before starting, I would like to say that if anybody gets offended due to their religious beliefs, I am extremely sorry. Uh, I personally do not celebrate Halloween either, but there are people around me who do celebrate, so this is just me uh, giving inspiration to those who are in need. For example, my cousins do actually need inspiration for a Halloween makeup. And um, I have always believed that uh, my belief is to myself and your belief should be to yourself as well. I just don't want anyone to take this personally and this thing that I am out there celebrating Halloween. Even if there are people or Muslims celebrating Halloween, um, I think it's on them and we can just ask them politely if it hurts us too much um, otherwise I think there's no point in being hateful because our religion is supposed to be a religion of peace before anything and we should strictly abide by that before anything else and um, as a makeup artist I do have to do a lot of face art every now and then so I hope you can see that it's just a mere form of face art and not as something else like a celebration uh, I don't know that if doing a Halloween inspired makeup look is a part of celebrating it but if it is and if it hurts you I'm really sorry but um, as I've said that I will keep doing this and I hope you can respect that decision as well with that being said keeping all the serious talk aside I hope everyone here is peaceful and loving and nobody is hateful because as I've said earlier you're not supposed to be hateful so yeah uh, we are also going to be watching Taco Marjuli as in like the Shak Junir Golpo if you haven't watched the Shak Junir Golpo uh, you will also be able to watch it because I think I'll be putting a small screen right here so I'll be doing my Shak Junir inspired makeup look and also watch the Shak Junior Golfo at the same time so I hope you enjoy this video and I think I talked a lot so uh, without any further ado let's jump on to the video okay so I did try doing face arts before with my technique palette as you can see it's pretty well loved I mean well used because I do not really think I love it that much I use it for a lot of purposes only because I have this with me only if I had an alternative probably I would have used that but since I do not have an alternative I'm just going to stick to using this um, but I do know that it tends to look a little patchy so I'll first see what actually works like I'll try to mix a couple of shade uh, with my foundation so that it does not look patchy if it doesn't look as great with the foundation we will try to make do with whatever that is here um, and some eyeshadow because I do not have a green powder so we will be using eyeshadow I hope my skin doesn't die yeah that's that's literally all I have to say like I hope my skin is okay after this because I'm really scared let me just first see um, which one works better and then we'll go forward with whatever works the best so I just took this one time box you know those ones that you put your meals in um, because I'll be mixing things here I do not have that spatula and that tray where you mix 
foundation and everything so the best possible thing that I could find was this. So I'll be taking a little bit of the green, the white and the black. Um, this, as I have said earlier, this is a Technique face palette. So I will be customizing my shade accordingly because as we know, Shaktuni skin isn't exactly bottle green as my hijab. It's not like that. It's, it has like a hint of lime green to it. I'm not exactly sure what shade of green that is. I think that's green green. Yeah. Taking this first, I will be applying a little bit of foundation. This is the lightest foundation that I could find in my vanity. This is the NC25. Uh, for myself, that is. I used to be the shade of NC25 once, but I'm no longer that shade. So um, I'm just going to put this. I could use foundations that I keep separately for my clients, but I'm too lazy to go get that now. Or should I? And I am going to be mixing these. I took some black as well because I know that when I mix it with the foundation, it is going to become lighter. So I took a little bit of black. Bismillah. So I'm just going to show what difference it makes when you apply um, the color with foundation and the color by itself. So this is basically a combination of the foundation, this color and the black color. Do not take too much of the black because it's going to end up looking either black or bottle green. Take a teensy wincy bit of an amount. Uh, if you go pretty heavy handed, just use the white from the palette because that shall do. That's right. चिंता करना सन्धे होते ढेर देरी Thank God I'm a hijabi because I don't have to apply it on my neck because applying this to my entire face is a whole new level of struggle. For my highlighting portion and like 
basically the concealer I will be using this white shade with a teeny bit of this green That's the Okay, so I couldn't do much with the lighter two shades because it was getting more patchy. So I am just gonna rely on powder now for highlighting, contouring, and everything else. And then this part where she laughs, that is basically the part I took a screenshot of so that I can do my makeup. A basketball. गोले बेधे ऐले तो फिर फिर কাল রাতে ফিরবে বলে খবর পাঠিয়েছে বৌমা রান্না বসাবে না রান্না তো হয়ে গেছে মা সে কি কাঠ কোথায় পেলে ঘরে তো জালের কাঠ ছিল না निजे पाते दस गुण बस भात तब चुपचाप ছেলে ফিরলে ওকে সব বলতে হবে মা কে সনাতন এদি হ্যাঁ মা তা তো তোমার বৌমা সারা পাচ্ছি না কেন সে কোথায় বৌমা রান্না ঘরে তোর সাথে কথা আছে কি কথা এইবারে বুঝলাম এ তোমার বৌমা নয় আসলে শাকচুন্নি ও ও নিশ্চিত তোমার বৌমাকে ওই শাওয়া গাছে লুকিয়ে রেখেছে তাই ঘরে ফেরার পথে মনে হলো ওই গাছ থেকে কেউ যেন আমায় ডাকছে এখন উপায় তুমি তুমি কিচ্ছু ভেবো না মা আমি ওঝার কাছে যাচ্ছি বেশি দেরি করলে তোমার আসল বৌমাকে জ্যান্ত উদ্ধার করা যাবে না এই শাকচুনি বউকে কিচ্ছু জানিও না হুম 
বাবা বাবা গো বাবা বলা বিপদে পড়ে আপনার কাছে এসেছি বাবা আমি আবার কি করলাম আমি শাকচুন্নি হতে যাবো কেন কি কি উল্টো পাল্টা বকছো আমি তো এবারের বউ ও তাহলে এই নে তোর ওষুধ হলুদ পোড়া সরষে Okay, let's do this side of the eyebrows. For my eyebrows as well, I did use the black shade from this face palette. Um, you can use your normal eyeliner as well, but I felt like I like a more emollient texture um, in terms of my eyebrows. So yeah, I'll be using this. <laughs> আগে এ বাড়ির বউকে এনে দে না হলে তোকে ছাড়ব না হলুদ পোড়া সরষে মারব ছাটা জর্সে Next, I will be cutting my crease with this white shade that we have been using for the past one hour or so. For my highlighter, I will be applying in this shade right here, or probably even this shade from here. Um, yeah. This is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. Oh, এরপর বামনি ছেলে আর বৌমাকে নিয়ে সুখী শান্তিতে ঘর কন্যা করতে থাকে আমার কথাটি পুরোলো মিনটি গাছটি ফর লিপস্টিক আই উইল বি ইউজিং মাই কালার পপ 
ultra matte lip in the shade Ariba. This is the one with the collaboration with I Love Sari.